YouTube, Shocked Aqua here. Welcome to my YouTube gaming channel. Today we're starting up a new series, uh, concurrently with uh, Trails in the Sky. So, <clears throat> I, might not, uh, I might be going back and forth between the two different series here. But the reason why I'm doing Surviving the Aftermath, because apparently it has now come out in Steam uh, Early Access, and there's been a lot of changes since I've played this game about seven, eight months ago. And just for a few of the changes, you can see there's quite a few changes in that time frame. They've been updating this game constantly. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what uh, some of these new updates are. This might not be a very long series, but uh, we'll go ahead and do this. I know I haven't, well, when I initially played this, I didn't play it on uh, any of my channels, I don't think, so... We'll go ahead and take a look at this on this channel. Uh, tutorials, yeah. Yeah, let's do tutorials, why not? <clears throat> now, I'm not gonna do an insanely difficult uh, difficulty here. F uh, just for the simple reason, I just kinda wanna play with it and not be too challenged and just kind of see what things are. So, uh, let's see, cities are We'll go ahead and do that, uh, which is basically temper. Cities are demolished, but nature prevail. Temperatures, uh, it's temperate and humid climate, and their fertile soil is forty percent, so that allows us to build more uh, s stuff easy and more survivable. Uh, catastrophes in the wake of events resulting in extreme weather conditions and other calamities became a normal part of everyday life. The worst has passed, time to rebuild. Occasional catastrophes, contamination level 20%. It's a still dangerous world, but will prevail. Common catastrophes and contamination level 35%. And there's, it feels like the apocalypse has never ended. So we'll go ahead, we'll do the worst uh, has passed, time to rebuild. So we'll go ahead and do that. So let's see. We were at four, so right now with those two, we were at a fourteen percent difficulty here. So resources, the group had well prepared in advance, plentiful starting resources. So basically, your doomsday preppers. Everyone scrounged together what they could. Average starting resources. People left with barely anything on them. Now we'll go ahead. We'll do the well prepared in advance. Idea ideology. <clears throat> There's no survival guide for a post-apocalypse like this. Different people have different ideas on how to survive, with none more right or wrong than the other. Unlocks more options in the tech tree. What kind of leader are you? Hardy survivors. Additional tech options for more um, efficient survival methods. Additional tech options to improve the colony efficiency. Waste additional tech for exploration. To improve the colony. Additional tech options... For more survival. Oh. Hmm. Let's do colony on that. Well, let's see. Does it change it really? Really, it does. Huh. Hardy survivalist. Really? So it's e Hmm. Really? So doing that changes it that much by fifteen or by ten percent? Huh. 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 Yeah. Um. Do I want to start out with better colony or better better survival stuff? Uh. I would like to have a better colony starting off, but I don't know if. Um, yeah, let's do the colony builder. We'll make it. F we'll do that. Oh, it doesn't change it. Or it does. Yeah, I guess it does. No, it doesn't change it. Okay, so the ideology doesn't change it at all. Okay, let's go colony builder then. Alrighty. So gatekeeper. Life is unfair, but sometimes it feels like you are not alone, whether it's an invisible guardian or just pure fate. 
but it sure feels like someone is watching over us. The path is challenging, but worth the risk. Architect, lenient and helpful. It is a tough road to walk, but never unfair. Survival is challenging and fair. Suffering or success, chaotic, no restrictions. Anything is possible. Uh, let's do architect here. And now we get to choose three specialists here. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. We have Wheeler, who's a scavenger. Fritz, a fighter. Stella, a scientist. Jin, a scout. Cat, a scient Kate, a scientist. Med school. Okay. Oh, Raj. Scrappa. Satoshi. Hex. Domino. Makeda. Boone. And then Baron. Do -do 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 -do. Let's see. Okay, so all the fighters. Uh, who do I want? She's kind of got that rogue streak in her. For, or from X Men. Uh, Jin. First. Uh, I'm gonna definitely do Kate as a scientist. I'm thinking I want to do one of each: a scavenger, a uh, scientist, and a scout. Um, well, maybe. Hmm. No, we're gonna run, actually. Uh, we're actually gonna run in the f enemies out on the field. So. Uh. The Raj is a scavenger. And then we'll need a fighter, so. Fritz. Scrappa. Makeda. Baron's a fighter. Uh, let's do Makeda. Yeah, let's do that. I like that I like I like that mixture a lot. Continue. Visuals. Ooh, so we get to pick our color here. Um. <clears throat> so let's see. Uh. Oh. What to do? What to do? I think we'll do that. We'll do that. As our colors continue. Colony name. Colony motto. Rather death than dishonor. Ooh, I like that. Unity equals strength. Okay. Endure and overcome. Divide and conquer. For a better tomorrow. Rather death than... Good luck. Have fun. Cats won't go quietly in the night. Under the shade, we flourish. Never conquered, always feared. Adapt and overcome. Oh, I like that. We'll do, we'll do the adapt and overcome. Once we can... There we go. Adapt and overcome. I like that. Alrighty, what shall we name? <laughs> Somewhere. Uh, Lyra, Baymore, White, White Mirror, Thorncliff, Van Tall, Baymore. Well, since I am a, a fan of Critical Role. In honor of them, 
we will shall name this Whitestone. Alrighty. So resource. Okay, so the here breaks everything down. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, da 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 da. Alrighty, so tutorial. Yeah, shoot, show tutorial messages environment. Yeah, I'm just doing and then the show on the tutorials because it's been forever and days since I played this and it, I thought it would be it might be interesting to get some hit, hints and tips starting off this right here. So. Make sure your colony can support new survivors before letting them in. Or, you know, just wing it until you, till you make it. <laughs> do 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 do. Ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. Okay. So we're going to pause right off the bat. There's that. How do I move? How do I move the map? Okay, that's the world map. Let's see where we are in the world here. Okay, we got a few things around us. We got some research. Got some meat, and we got some plastic around us. As you can see at the top, we have all our resources right up there. Head back to the town. Menu. Uh, da, da, da. Settings. Controls. Oh, I can play with the controller if I wanted to. Uh, change views with zoom. Yep. Invert camera rotation. Key bindings. Here we go. Oh, WASD. Got it. WASD is the keys. All right. So resume game. Uh, okay. Perfect. Okay, so I know... Uh, Specialist, okay. Uh, Test tab rotate. Okay, let's rotate. Uh, control oh, key bindings. Rotate right R. Uh, oh, what's Q? Well, oh, rotate camera left. I don't need that. Confirm. I got my mouse to do the key rotation or the camera rotation, so go ahead, build our camp right by the entrance. And you can see there's kind of like a pre little road coming in. Oh, okay, I like that. So that's the where the gate is going to go. So we'll do this right on that road. Uh, get those three to build that. Oh, whoops. Okay, so if you scroll up too much. And then we'll have... We'll just go ahead and continue to explore. Okay, camp is built. So, the camp site is built. Let's get some, let's see. Let's put this right next to that. That's what? I'm trying to remember how many six of them there. Uh, 
let's do a couple right across from each other. Uh, I know... Okay, so that's that. Storage. We're going to need some storage. Um, well, I guess we'll do this right next to the campsite. Uh, that's a high priority. That's a high priority. Um, okay, we're going to need that. Uh, we'll start everything. need some water so let's actually let's try seeing where we okay so we have some water back here some water over here uh, is that our only sources of water Okay, I think that's kind of... Oh, there's a... Oh, that's the lake we had right there. Okay, so that's a border. But we got some more water over there. Alright, so we got water there. We got water here. Okay, and that's the other border, but we got some more water there, too. That's the back. Alright. Okay, so... Oh. Little top-down method. Okay. Water there. Water straight back. Water over there. So, what I'm actually going to do then. Stick a well right there next to the campsites. Uh, I really don't want to. I don't want to have to overlap here. to do if I'm going to put uh, let's see uh, I thought there was some way to build roads maybe I'm mistaken uh, I'll do a water collector Oh, you know, I don't think I discovered that area yet. Okay. Uh, I have it there. Her going that way. Or him. Is that him or her? That's him. Okay. So I'll have him continue going off that way. Because there's water back there. I'll have her go here. Okay, so he discovered he discovered that. Uh, 
Okay, okay. Actually, what I'll do is have her come over here then. Uh, shoot the flare. Let's get some people in here. Okay, here's another source of the water we were looking at. Alright, the inhabitants. Prompted by specialist signal flare, the rest of your group arrives at the prepared campsite. Despite all the hardship ahead, it's time to rebuild and turn a hostile place into a home. We'll have him. I'll figure. Uh, let's have him continue exploring, and that should be enough to uh, start off. I think that's enough exploring for now. Alright, so this. No active. Move work area. What do we got? Oh, crap. Uh, oh, crap. What do I do to expand out that work? I know you can move the work areas in and out. So, let's see. Key bindings. Uh, da, da, da. Center colony, research. Y, tutorials, H. I need a food thing too. Oh boy. Oh, left control. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, we'll do that for right now. Go to the build menu. Okay. Uh. Oh. Can't I do that? It needs to be on the shark. Uh, 
Well, let's do a water storage. Next to that. Fishing hut. Finish exploring this then. Okay. Okay. Let's do the water collector first. And Do the fishing. Uh. Uh. Oh, there's the road. need some medical tents. I know that. So, let's do... Food storage. Hmm. the road there. Yeah. 
And then I'm gonna actually let's do here. And I think, if I remember correctly, it's always good to have like two. I think. Uh, did I do? F yeah, that's a high. Got it. Let's just speed these guys up a bit. He's, they're working on the well. They're working on it. Working on it, I'm working on it. Yeah, there's a bunch of berries up here. Let's see. Any other for right now that will do. I thought I got that road. Apparently not. Oh, my planning skills suck. <laughs> Okay. 
so this I I think I'm gonna do like my buildings off to the right. All right, I'll pause this actually real quick. So what I think I'm gonna do is I already got a little bit of planning out here. I think this is gonna be like a crafting area slash resource area over here, and off to the right is going to be. Uh, where I put my populace and all that other stuff. So we have to actually clear out this pollution. Which I know I need to... Actually, what do I need to get the gate again? Hold on a second. I need 20 wood, 15 concrete, 15 metal. Which I don't have the metal and I need 5 plastic. Okay. So. That's going to do it for uh, this first episode of uh, Surviving the Aftermath. And... When we come back, I am going to... Ooh, I actually should probably build another large thing here. Yeah, anyways. So, guys, gals, ladies, gentlemen, and others, tell me what you thought of this episode. Tell me how I'm doing, if I'm doing crappy or not. Whatever, I don't care. Just leave a comment in the comment section down below. I will more than likely read it. If you liked the video, please hit that big blue thumbs up and like the video i would very much appreciate it and if you want to subscribe to my youtube channel feel free to do this as well i am also over on twitch as twitch.tv shocked aqua so if you want to go check me out over there i stream maybe once or twice a week if that uh i know i've been kind of busy with the holidays approaching and everything it's getting a little closer to holidays because we are now in november so uh, that dates this episode if you're watching this in the future, but tis the season to be jolly, folks. So, guys, gals, ladies, gentlemen, and others, I am Shocked Aqua, signing off.